Bye. Um, so today's video, we are going to be working on getting our first, second or first, I don't know, first on video um, villager for the island of oat milk. I've decided that I'm going to go for a cottage core with a lot of elements of green theme versus spring core because I feel like spring core is a little bit too similar to fairy core and that's what I last did. So we're going to go with cottage core. Um, and I should have an idea of the villager that I'm going to get. I have a couple off the top of the dome and I've watched a couple of videos. I'll have them linked below if I can remember um, to help me figure out what villagers I wanted. The most prevalent one I can think about comes from Katie. Highly recommend it. It's an old video, but a goodie, a goodie, excuse me, a good one. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy our plot from Tom. And then we're going to go ahead and put the plot on the beach because, as I've mentioned before, probably many times, I like to put my houses... I need money. That is a problem. Let me get money. I like to put my houses on the beach because I have to sneeze. because, excuse me, I don't like to have to move them later. I'm a very lazy person. I just want them to be where they need to be and then not have to worry about them after. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. Let me just grab the correct amount of money. He said 10,000 bells. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that amount exact. We obviously are working on getting the island to three stars uh so that we can start terraforming and waterscaping and all that i haven't picked any of my weeds my flowers yet i'm probably gonna do that off stream and off video just because that's really boring like it's just gonna be probably an hour plus of me picking flowers and weeds and no one wants to see that so we're not doing that on video but i do hope that you all enjoy this one my very first one got a lot of love my mic just froze i hope it registered um my first video got a lot of love which i appreciate and the second one is getting lots of love as well and i actually got the sweetest compliment from one of my good friends and a mod of mine on a different channel did i get the land from him i did right I did that they told me that I'm so funny oh my god that's the nicest compliment anyone can give you like I don't need you to call me pretty I don't need you to do none of that just tell me I'm funny the foot that's the best compliment we are gonna go and put them on this side also there's probably gonna girl there's probably going to be quite a few cuts in this video um, just because it is villager hunting. I don't want this to be 10 hours long. So we're going to cut from like island to island and I'm going to try to be conscious of that. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's run to the airport to our favorite brothers or uncle and nephew or father and son. I don't know the lore behind them. All I know is that in the fandom, there's apparently lore between Red and Tom Nook being enemies. That's all I know, and my source is Twitter. Alrighty, we are here on our first island, so let's go ahead and see. Okay, well, that's a rat. A mouse, whatever you want to call it. A big headed, never mind. That's mean. Um, let's go ahead and let's go to the next one and hope for better luck. Also, fun fact I am listening to Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar <laughs> on Spotify um, in my ear as. I am recording this, so in between cuts, which you guys aren't hearing, maybe I'll put it a little snippet. I'm rapping 
parts of a song that I know and obviously that I can rap um, because I am still deeply involved in that. And another thing that kind of built, not necessarily a resurgence, but brought about the conversation again for me, which I always welcome, was a Twitch streamer formerly on YouTube by the name of Kang. Um, love Kang. If y'all don't know who Kang is, please go support. He has no idea who I am probably, but still love him. Um, his return stream after a long, long time was regarding the Kendrick Lamar and the Drake beef and he covered it in such excellent detail, reacted to the songs, was very honest with his bias but also having facts to back that bias which I am on the same side as the man so I had no opposing ideas or statements to his stream and it was excellent. I love this song. I'm really hoping it wins a Grammy. I'm really hoping it gets recognition. It beats out Drake's records. But also, in the music sphere, y'all, I'm so excited because according to what we know so far this year, people that are set to return include Lady Gaga, The Weeknd, Kendrick, Frank Ocean is making music. What timeline are we in? Childish Gambino just dropped on their album, or Donald Glover, whichever he'd rather go by. I'm just really excited. I feel like music is finally back. Also, Sabrina Carpenter's album, Chapel Roan is killing it. I love Chapel Roan. Good luck, babe. I don't care if it's the most popular song. I'm blasting it. On my ride to work and on my ride home, I sing it so much to the point that when I came home from work on Thursday after singing it on repeat like 10 times in a row because I have like a half hour commute, I lost my voice a little bit because <laughs> I just love that song so much. So if you haven't heard it, please do. I was actually thinking of having in each of these videos or like each of my live streams a like song of the week to recommend and this week I would like to recommend Chapel Roan's Good Luck Babe. It gives a sense of nostalgia while also being modern pop and her voice is so elegant and beautiful and rich and just crisp and I highly recommend it. On the topic of her actually and if this is a live premiere obviously you guys can let me know your thoughts and if it's not you can let me know them below. Um, your thoughts on people now trying to get too personal with celebrities. The reason I break that up is because Chapel is saying that she's taking an extended break because people were actually finding out like where her parents live, where her siblings are, like what school she used to go to and all these things and getting too personal. I personally am completely against that. I don't care if someone is a little famous. I don't care if they're the biggest pop star in the world like Michael Jackson was. Don't care. It's none of your business. Stick your nose out of their business. But if you have a different idea, let me know what you think. If you think there's some business people should stick their nose in and others they shouldn't, I want to hear it. I like to hear your guys' thoughts and ideas, even if they're not the same as mine, um, on things as mundane to us but important to them ozzy like my dog ozzy wazzy anyway on to the next island i believe that was island number four so on to island number five i think okay so we just checked this is island number five actually my fault Unless I forgot to pick up a weed, that could have been the case. Is this Petri? Petri? Whatever. My favorite rat. I think the only rat I really like. She's so cute. She gives me laboratory. Dexter's laboratory. That kind of vibes. Anyway, on to island number six. I hope this video isn't super long. I'm gonna tweak. Hey Drake, I hear you like him young. You better never go to cell block one to any girl that talked to him and he in love. Just make sure you hire your little sister from him. They tell me Chubb's the only one to get your hammy downs. The party probably playing at the party with his nose now. 
Mbaka got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pediophile. Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? I'm gonna do my stuff. Why are you trolling like a... Ain't you tired trying to strike a chord? And it's probably a minor... Also, another thing that's happening in between cuts that you guys aren't hearing is me scream yawning because I'm a moron and I decided that I would be filming this again at 9.22 p.m. It is, in fact, not 5 o'clock in the morning. It is 9.30 at night. And as I've shared before, I'm an insomniac. You know that song that goes, she's a maniac. Replace it with insomniac. That's me. Or maniac. Both work. Um, ew. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't sleep. And sometimes it's by choice, because yesterday, I will admit, I was up till 2 o'clock in the morning playing Overwatch and Fortnite with some friends. Um, and so I didn't want to go to bed until I won a game, because I was legit tweaking out. Every time I play Overwatch, I become a different woman. People who play with me know. Like, I go sicko mode. I get very serious. Not serious in the way, like, I'm going to get mad at you if you don't play right. I get mad at myself. But if, like, the team as a whole is sucking, and then people start getting upset, you know that I'm not the type of person that, like, I get angry with them. I start cracking up, but I, got, I start cracking up because, like, I'm losing my mind. I can't with that hair. That's how I look. <laughs> Lord. <gasps> get out! Oh my god! I had to mute for a moment and cut because my mother was right outside my door. Anyways, island number... <gasps> I'm taking him. I don't know if I'm going to keep him, but I'm taking him. Look at him! Look! Look. You guys know, is that Corey Kenshin? <laughs> no, it's a Bernese. I don't know who that is. Look, I think that's one of them. You're coming home with me. <gasps> He's such a cutie patootie woody. Oh, his eye. That was a little scary with two C's. But we're just gonna not alarm him no more. And he can just come to our island. Yay! Let's go ahead and let's go a day forward and see if this ba 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 booey um shep is on my island <laughs> okay let's go ahead and let's make sure that shep has moved in also you might be hearing my vacuum because even though i told my mom listen if you're in my age range or a little bit older, you know that your parents are getting older. Love to my parents. Shout out to them. But you could tell them something and the next minute they forget. And so I mentioned her, hey, yo. Uh, just kidding. I was like, hey, mummy, I'm going to be making a video. So not too much noise, please. And she's like, okay. And now the vacuum is outside my room. So I hope to jesus yay sorry that <laughs> you can't hear it um let's go say hi to shep ah. and then uh, that was meant to be spongebob could you hear it could you picture it in your head um let's go say hi to shep and then cut the stream <gasps> shepherd weppard oh my goodness He's here! I officially have three smugs on this island. That is way too many for my liking. I also still need to figure out my smug situation because obviously if I'm going to have Marshall and Raymond, I cannot have three smugs on this island. Though I also could, like if I don't give an F, you know what I mean? So I might just keep them all. I can't do anything until I got all these boxes unpacked and put away. You know what? I'm calling it the House of Shep. Is, oh, oh, I read that entire chromatically wrong. Hold on. You know what? I'm calling it. The house of Shep is open for business. Period. Alrighty, y'all. That looks like 
You know, I'm really happy with the little man that we found. Um, say hi to the... Oh, is that what I meant to do? Say hi to the camera or don't. Um, well, oh, look at him. He's so cute. Gosh, dang it. We will be back um, with another video after this. I'm going to try to find more villagers. Maybe we'll do another hunt. If you have any villager suggestions, let me know. Any little challenges I can fit in. Like, say, we're doing a villager hunt and, like, looking for this villager unless I find so-and-so. You know, throw me ideas. I'm just enjoying chilling, hanging with y'all, talking about random things while I play Animal Crossing. My next live stream, I'm actually thinking of doing kind of like an action-based game, like Sonic Frontiers or like something similar. I was even thinking like Smash Bros. Let me know what you think of that. I think that could be fun. Or maybe even like revisiting Mortuary Assistant. The heck? That could also be really fun. Uh, do let me know. I'm going to go as it is now 9.53 p.m. And I have some chores I got to do to wrap up my night, including deep cleaning my room. Because what better time to deep clean your room than at night? At night. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Thank you all so much for all the love, for over 600 subs, for lots of views. I appreciate it. As soon as memberships come out, the first emote will be Bibble, I promise you. And then once I get emotes, I don't care to get YouTube famous. I just want to get emotes in my chat and have people spam Bibble and freaking anything else that I have interest in. The jumping Elmo picture. I'm going to stick it right here. <laughs> um, so uh, please remain stay safe. I need to go to bed. Remain safe um, if you're out and if it's hot, stay hydrated. If it's cold, stay warm. Take care of your pets. Take care of yourselves. And we will talk again very soon. Bye.